All right, this video is on multiplying two exponential expressions that have the, the same base, also known as, uh, say, the product rule for, uh, for exponents. Um, but before we get to that, um, let's recall 2 to the first power. That really just means, you know, 2, right? But if you had something, say, like 2 to the third power, also known as 2 cubed, um, that, that means to write as 2 times 2 times 2, which... 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so 2 to the third is a fancy way of writing the number 8. Okay, but this little exponent here kind of tells you what you're doing um, with the bases. All right, you're probably all familiar with that, but now I want to <coughs> emphasize the difference between that and that. All right, so this first example right up here, this says um, the base for this exponent 2, the base is this entire thing of negative 3 because we have these parentheses around it. Whereas down here on the, on the bottom one, the base for the exponent 2 is just the number 3. The base for an exponent is the number that's immediately to the left of it, and this minus sign down here is not, does not indicate this is a negative 3 um, like it does up here. The, the parentheses here show that we've got negative 3 as the base raised to the second power. Down here, this just means the opposite, that's what the minus sign out in front means, the opposite of 3 squared. That's, the, that's a big difference between the, the, two, the two examples. So let's do this top one here. So this first one says the um, negative 3 to the second power, because negative 3 is the base. That really means negative 3 times negative 3. And we all know that to mean positive 9. Right. But this bottom one down here says that, well, the base for the, for the t exponent 2 here is just the number 3. So the 3 is what's being multiplied together twice, and this negative sign is just out in front. And so all of that gives us a negative 9. Because remember, this means the opposite of 3 squared, and 3 squared is 9. The opposite of 9 is, well, negative 9. Right? So it's a big, there's a big difference um, if you have parentheses or if you don't have parentheses. And this really only matters when your exponent is even. All right? So 2, 4, 6, if your exponent's like that. Then it matters what the base is in terms of having um, parentheses around it or not. So just be careful of, of that notation. All right, so now let's go backwards. So let's see, we've got... Oh, what? Negative 7a times negative 7a times negative 7a times negative 7a. Well, another way we could rewrite that, negative 7a, and how many times was it being multiplied together? 4. So negative 7a all raised to the fourth power. Note, it is very important that you have the parentheses around the negative 7a, because that's what's being multiplied four times together, right? If you do not have the parentheses, then it looks like this. Right? If you do not put the parentheses in, then it looks like this. And that 4 is only on the a. It's not even on the 7. Right? Because remember, the base for the exponent is the number that's immediately to its left. And so that would be this situation right here, the a. So very important to remember when you have parentheses and when you do not have parentheses. Right? Okay, this down here just means negative 7 times a times a times a times a. And that's not what we have up here. Right? Okay, enough on that. All right, this leads us to this following example. So you have x cubed times x squared. Well, x cubed means x times x times x, right? And then times. And then x squared means x times x. Everybody agrees with that, right? And then we say, all right, well, how many x's are we multiplying up? Well, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So to rewrite this expression down here in black, you just rewrite that as x to the fifth. Right? That's what that means. That's what the previous example was all about. And so, what's the relationship between what we have up here in blue and down here in this last line? Well, the bases are the same, right? Base x, base x. And we keep the base and we add the exponents. 3 plus 2 gives us the 5. And that is actually the, the entire product rule for, for exponents. All right? We're going to write it up as a note. Here you go. To multiply exponential expressions that have the same base, keep the base and add the exponents. All right? That's it. Thus, b to the m times b to the n, m and n are just you know numbers, uh, that equals b to the m plus n. You keep the base the same and just add up the exponents that are on these two expressions. 
right? That's the entire concept. All right, so let's look at some examples. All right, example one, y times y squared times y to the fifth. All right, well, we're mul multiplying up three things that have the same base. Uh, the exponent on this y is 5, the exponent on this y is 2, and what's the exponent on this first one up here? Right, even though we don't write it, it's understood to be a 1 up there. Don't forget, it's understood to be a 1 up there. So y times y squared times y to the fifth, you keep the base the same and add up the exponents. 1 plus 2 plus 5 gives you 8. So y to the eighth. All right, second example. All right, here we're multiplying negative 3 to the 4th times negative 3 to the 7th. So the base this time is negative 3. So you need parentheses around all that negative 3. And then uh, 4 plus 7 gives you 11. All right? All right, what about the third one? All right, 5x squared y to the 5th times negative 3x to the 4th y to the 9th. All right, well, let's see. We know we can multiply, all this is multiplication right here, right? So we know we can multiply the 5 and the negative 3 together to get negative 15. That's going to happen. And then you have x squared, which you can multiply times the x to the fourth here, because remember, all this is multiplication, so we're just moving things around. So x squared times x to the fourth, base the same, add the exponents, you get x to the sixth. And then y to the fifth and y to the ninth, because you're multiplying those together, give you y to the fourteenth. Right, so this whole expression goes to negative 15 x to the sixth y to the fourteenth. All right, and then all right, now I've changed it up a little bit. So the bases don't just have to be you know these one term things here that, that are I have in the previous examples. Down here, x minus two is the entire base for this five because we have these parentheses around the x minus two. Right? So x minus 2 here is the base for the 6. So we're multiplying these two things together, and we see that x minus 2 is the base for both of them. So we keep the base the same, x minus 2, <coughs> and then add up the exponents. So 5 plus 6 is 11. All right, so this goes to x minus 2 raised to the 11th power. That make sense? So it doesn't matter what your base, if your base is 1 term, 2 terms, 19 terms, whatever. None of that matters. Right? All that matters is that... Um, the things that you're multiplying together have the same base. And then you keep the base and just add up the exponents. All right, let's do one more. All right, so 5 to the 2n times 5 to the 8n. All right, so the base this time is 5. And we look at our exponents, and we have 2n plus 8n. And remember that 2n plus 8n are like terms, so we can add them up and get because they both have the n's there. So 2n plus 8n is 10n. So this 5 to the 2n times 5 to the 8n all goes to 5 to the 10n. All right, does that make sense? All right, that's the idea of multiplying exponential expressions that have the same base. Uh, now you should go practice. Um, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.